Read the paper. <laughs> Wait, oh. What? But why are you slapping this woman like that? What? Jesus. <laughs> Welcome back to another recording and if it's your first time here, welcome in. I'm Flair Unique and today we're going to be watching Jackie Brown. I've gone ahead and decided that we're going to make our rounds back around to see some of the uh, sequels to some of the videos that we've started now. So Jackie Brown is up. Hey, if you're new to the channel and you end up liking the video, please consider subscribing. And if you enjoy the video, please consider leaving a rating. Let's get started on today's reaction video. Also, before we get started, I just want to make it clear. I have to edit out some of the cussing. YouTube will not allow me to keep all that on here without demonetizing me. Hi, I'm Sydney. I'm a personal trainer and Miss Orange County finalist. And this. And that there is my a tech man. Nine. A little cheaper spray gun made out of South Miami. Is this man going to be another hitman in here? Mr. Walker runs a fishing boat out of Mexico. I get the merchandise to him. He gets it out to my cup. There it is. Quentin Tarantino. It, it had to happen at some point soon. Boy, he's getting started early. <laughs> this here is the Chinese model. I get him for eight fifty. Double my money. Grab that for me, would you, baby? Kind of advertising you know his face. With over 50 Girl, don't make me put my foot in your way. Is the most popular Ooh. assault rifle. Hello, it's for you. <laughs> Jeez. Jumba, what's up? So when'd you get out of jail? Four days ago. For what? For uh, yeah, for Night what? Robbery. Really? You serious? <laughs> I'm telling you, Lewis started adding these motherfuckers up. Tell me this ain't the business to be in. <laughs> Should he? Be hanging out with him as he's if he's a gun dealer and he just got out of jail for bank robbery. I don't know. Something about that and probation don't seem to go together. God, you got better sense to be drunk driving with a god pistol. Boma. Boma. Now it is too early for alcohol. Not in some people's world. Never mind. Never mind. My bad. My bad. How can I help you? Where can I put my ash? Use that cup there if you like. I just, wait, he's walking here and just start smoking in this man's office? You have cash. What do you need me for? Come on, man, you know how they do. Black man show up with 10,000 cash. First thing they want to know is where I got it. Cost you a thousand for the bond. I can do that. If he runs and I have to go to Kentucky to bring him back, you pay the expenses. What's his full name? Beaumont. That's all I know. I'm worried. I still don't know what kind of movie this is and what I'm getting into. So far, there's not a real setup of a conflict. Harry Cohen, who was married what to is it? Chris Tucker. Uh-uh. I love Chris Tucker. <laughs> they talking like they serious as hell. Give me time for that machine gun. That's an old crime, man. They ain't got room in the joint for all these niggas. Out here killing people now. How are they gonna find room for you? I need a favor, nigga. That requires me to go out tonight. Just a bit. We're gonna get this man in trouble all over again. I almost sell the other two tonight. There's this group of Koreans over in Koreatown starting this little neighborhood watch. Can he stop getting this man involved with weapons? It's clearly not working for him in his future. We ain't going nowhere but to Koreatown, man. You ain't gonna be in here no more than 10 minutes. I'm sorry, man, but I ain't getting no goddamn trunk. All I'm asking you to do is get in the trunk, hold this fuck. Shotgun and pointed at these bullet heads when I open You catch your off guard with this sh Look here, look here, look here. There's nothing innocent about popping out of a trunk with a shotgun pointed at people. You never know what you're going to be getting. Oh, crap. He's. Uh, that's not a good sign. He's putting on gloves like he's about to do some deed. He might have been better off just spending his whatever time they were going to give him to go to jail. This night's about to change everything. What's he about to... I don't like this. I don't like this. And Quentin likes to throw surprises. I don't... But... <laughs> Why? Oh my God! But Why did he... Why did he bail him out? It's the guns. 
they're going to link back to him. I was, I'm shocked. I am shocked. What the hell? I'm in the cozy confines of an Oldsmobile parked right outside Simone's house. Who's that? You're not more surprised by this? He put himself in a position where he was going to have to do 10 years in prison. And you know Beaumont's going to do anything Beaumont can to keep from doing them 10 years. I figured that had to be it. If you're going to come in on this thing with me, you got to be prepared. Man, I'm sad. I thought we were going to get more Chris Tucker in here. Can I ask what you have in that bag? The usual stuff. You know, I'm a flight attendant for Cabo Air. Can I uh, help out here? Would you mind if we just took a look in that bag? Why? For what? You have a good flight? Right, we're not talking. You're already bothering me in my day. We're not talking about crap. I'd say there's about, oh, uh, $50,000 here. Looks like about 50000 from here. Uh, what's the, what's the cover story? You can go down and you can talk with those guys who are really suspicious and just really disagreeable human beings, or you can talk with a couple of good-hearted guys like Mark and myself. Now, why is she carrying that much money? Is she working for Samuel, too? I didn't hear you ask permission to smoke in my office. May I smoke? No, you may not. Do it anyway. No. <laughs> I make 16000 plus benefits. You've been in the service industry 19 years and all you make is 16000 plus benefits? I unfortunately don't have the reference for inflation. So if you guys know how much that is roughly in comparison to our current times, please let me know. If you don't know Beaumont... Why do you suppose Beaumont knows you? If I was a 44-year-old black woman desperately clinging on to this one sh little job that I was fortunate enough to get, Ooh. I don't think that I'd think I had a year to throw away. I'm not saying another goddamn word. Tell him, Jackie. Let's see what else is in there. Here. Uh-oh, uh-oh, oh, crap, what's that? What's this? Sugar? <laughs> Possession of narcotics with the intent to distribute. How does your client plead? Uh, your Honor, she wishes to stand mute. What's that option? I've heard guilty or not guilty, not stand mute. I'm going to set bond at 10000 and set the date of August 21st for the prelim. That's six weeks from now, Miss Brown. We'll continue this matter then. Well, he seems pleasant enough. I'm worried her bail is set at the same price as Beaumont's was. Oh, crap. He's right there. Don't give her the Beaumont treatment, please. Got caught coming back from Mexico with some blow. They set a bond this afternoon at ten thousand dollars. A forty-four year old black woman caught with less than two ounces, they call that sh intent. He can't go kill her like he did to Beaumont, because then this is gonna be very suspicious. All right, before we start talking about stewardesses, let's get Beaumont out of the way first. Uh you know, I think somebody already did. <laughs> what does she do for you? Who says she'd do anything for me? She my friend. My friends get in trouble, I like to help them out. Beaumont work for you. I think he's already starting to connect the dots. Whatever you're into, you seem to be getting away with it, so uh, more power to you. You know I got the money. I just ain't got it with me. Come back when you do. I'll bond out the stewardess. Dropping off Lopez, Anita, picking up Brown, Jackie. Okay. Not love at first sight. Oh my God. <laughs> Why do I feel this way? I've never heard this song in headphones before. That sounds so beautiful. Well, who do you think I am? I showed you my card in there. Well, if she knows anything like what happened to Beaumont, then yeah, she, she has the right to be suspicious. They knew about the money. They even knew the exact amount. What did they want to know? Who gave me the money and who I was giving it to. And they found this guy in the trunk of a car with his head blown off. They said it was him who told him about me. And she knows exactly why. Don't worry, he can't do the same to you. That, that would be too obvious. Oh, hell no. Uh. In the color of the sun and his eyes were green. No. But you can't. You cannot. She better home alone rig her house. She knows he's coming. How you doing, Miss Jack? Come on in. You got some boobs? I got some vodka in the freezer. Well, why don't you be a good hostess and look a brother up a screwdriver? Came in here with your damn gloves on. No. Well, you gonna thank me? For what? Got to ask you a whole load of questions about it, huh? 
and all that money probably asked you who you was bringing it to, too. Yo, she wasn't. She said mute. She was standing mute. You sure you didn't get nervous and you know, let something slip? You ain't asking the right question. She's not scared. She's not scared. She's got this under control. They knew about the money and they knew the exact amount. You ain't say nothing about me. Stop doing that. All right, that's mighty noble of you. Somebody must have been real mad at old Boma. Elf stayed pretty scared about what he might say to keep from doing some time. You got any reason to be nervous around me? She sure doesn't feel... Oh, she got the gun. Is that what I think it is? <laughs> what do you think it is? Now take your hands from around my throat. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Come on, girl. You know I'm just playing with oh, you. Oh, well, I ain't playing with you. I'm going to unload both of these motherfuckers if you don't do what I tell you to do. Oh, damn. Go, Jackie. That's how they do. You know, I've been doing it since the beginning. Shut your raggedy ass up <laughs> and shut the fuck down. <laughs> Yes. The way I see it, you and me got one mother thing to talk about. One thing. Damn, I love how she took control of this. I want $100,000 in an escrow account in my name. Now, if I have to do more than a year, you pay another $100,000. She is working this situation. If we friends again. You point that mother gun somewhere else. Go ahead, Jackie. Get your security. Oh, my God. That was good. <laughs> and I like how they didn't just have to say it. They did that side-by-side -side scene. Max, look, I am so sorry about this. You know, I was afraid to ask to borrow it. Come on in. Why don't you make yourself at home? Care to hang on to it for a while? It wouldn't be legal, but uh, if it makes you feel better, I guess. Well, thanks. I got one now. <laughs> I took it from someone. Well, I ain't going back to jail. And I ain't doing that probation thing again. So she is willing to give him up. And if I lose this job, I got to start all over again. And I ain't got nothing to start over with. And that shit is more scary than Ordell. Starting from scratch for any reason, especially when it's going to make it harder coming out of jail. I wouldn't be up for that. I need permission to leave the country so I can keep my job. We're going to look into that. I need it tomorrow. If I don't show up for work tomorrow, I'm fired. If I'm working, I can help you. Help you get Ordell Roby. Damn, she name dropped. You know how he makes his money? He sells guns. How do you know he's so scared? He told me. Besides, why else would an ATF man be after him? You are dealing with someone who knows his stuff. And in return for my help, I need permission to leave the country on immunity. Well, you don't want much, do you? Read the paper. <laughs> Wait, oh. What? But why are you slapping this woman like that? What? Jesus. What kind of show is that? Hey, 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 hey. Oh, I'm interested. What Jack, how's Jackie going to work this out? She's going to play both of these people, the detectives and him. Coughing's good. It opens up the capillaries. You know, when you cough, you're pulling air. In this case, I'll be right there. smoke into parts of the lungs that don't normally get used. And so coughing's good. It gets you higher. You definitely know a lot about that. I was going to say, most people who smoke weed seem to know all about everything concerning weed. <laughs> I myself do not function well being high. Not in the least. Want a metrics? <coughs> like a diet thing? No, it's what bodybuilders drink to, to be that. Now, Robert De Niro is too big of an actor to just be in a movie to be in a movie. He's He's got to have a big purpose in this. Although Chris Tucker did get cut off very quickly, so maybe, maybe that's not always the case. It's the only picture I've got of me in Japan. Mm. That's Japan. Oh. Yeah, well, yeah, I can. Yeah, it looks. I can tell. What? I, what? There was absolutely zero build up to that. <laughs> oh, they look like. It looks like two tired dogs. Why are they doing this like this? Now we can catch up. Yeah. Nothing felt sexy about that. Nothing at all. It just, oh. You think anybody followed you? I don't think so. But it don't matter because they already know I'm meeting you. How the f they know that? I told them. You told them. She's being straight up about it. So she's doing something big here. You tell them anything else? Yeah, you got a half a meal in Mexico and you want me to bring it in? <laughs> What's the matter? I mean, that's that's what we discussed last night. Now, let me lay it all out to you, okay? I told him you never pick up the money yourself. You always send someone and I never know who it is. Mm. Now, the first time I do it, they're looking around. They see me hand the 10000 to someone. 
Now, the next trip, when I bring in the half milk, it's going to look like I'm doing the same thing as I did before. But you don't? No, I hand it to someone else first. Well, this is risky. And I'm managing to do it all under the nose of the cop, so therefore, I'm your manager, and a manager gets 15%. <laughs> oh, man. She said, I'm your manager. <laughs> She is. She's setting the whole plan. She's telling him how it's going to be, what she's going to do, and what he needs to do to get his money. Did he tell you about that half million he's got down in Mexico? Let him and the stewardess get the money over here. Uh huh. And then just take it from. Don't mess with Jackie's money. That woman will come for you. Not that way. Not the good way. She will get her money back from them. Wait, but you trust Melanie around your business? Uh... <laughs> She trying to play your ass against me, ain't she? No, I don't understand why you keep someone around your business and you can't even trust them. I ain't gotta trust that. I know her. No, uh, you better hope the Melody M Melanie is not actually gonna go through with what she plans. Did you find somebody yet? Mm-hmm. Who? What you care? What I care is my ass facing penitentiary. You sent some hard headed rock hole up hey, in there. Hey, she hey, come hey. She ain't gonna be no rock hole. <laughs> That's a term I have not heard, Rocco. If I saw an opportunity to walk away with a shopping bag full of money, would I take it? You know where it came from. It's not like it's somebody's life saving. Half a million dollars will always be missed. Half a million dollars is something scary to come across. I couldn't pick that. Would you pick that up? Would you take that? I feel like I'm signing my life away or I'm, I'm signing myself up to be followed. Wait a minute. After we were together, we snuck into a guy's house. Yeah. Went to this guy's house in El Monte and waited for him to come home. What do you do when he comes home? Shoot him with the stun gun. While he's incapacitated, uh, you cuff him and take him to county. This is... That's not a real... Does it really happen like that? Not how this job works at all, right? Like, they don't really send people out to go capture someone like this. A bounty hunter, I guess, maybe? I'm not sure you answered my question, Max. Which one? If you had the chance, unemployed now to walk away with a half million dollars, would you take it? Not her getting him involved. Okay, here we go. Trial run. Location is parking structure LAX, row F, parking structure D. What are you doing? They are being so obvious. Wait, did she get him involved? Hold on now, what? I have a feeling he's going to be the exchange outside of the trial run when they do the final, the big one. Put the bag on the floor, okay? Under the table next to mine. And then when I leave, well, you know. So what's your name? Sharonda. The one that he picked up? You're rationalizing. Well, that's what you do to go through with the shit. You start, you rationalize. I can do it, Max. I know I can I just can't do it without you. So how's Max going to play a hand in this? I have a feeling somehow these two are just going to mess it all up. Oh. She has the same bag down there. Oh, the decoy of decoys. Holy crap. Sharonda was a decoy. <laughs> that is great. How? But wait, when did they make the second exchange? Damn. They are good. The woman you saw is my friend Simone. She's the one going to be receiving. I'm going to have to show to see how this shit go down. She's a nice woman. You like her. Matter of fact, she's on her way over here right now. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, wait. Was that the... That was the woman who was doing the the little dancing dance for Robert De Niro earlier. That was her sitting next to them. Okay, now Simone and I make the switch in Billingsley. She, she knows what I look like, right? She seen you with Sharonda, remember? Why over that? Because they're gonna be watching my ass hard. That's why we can't take the risk in doing it out in the open. That's why we got to do it in the fitting room with the woman. This is gonna get tricky. Sounds well enough. Probably doesn't work out that easily. I got to go. Hey. Jackie's going to have plans of her own. Jackie wants that full amount of money, not just a percentage. You still have to show him the money at the airport. <laughs> well, I'm not going to show him the whole amount. He'll see 50000 And where's the rest of it? In the bag underneath. What if he checks? 
He won't. He didn't before. He's expecting to see 50000 That was the whole reason of the trial run. She wanted to see how he was going to do what he's going to do. That's why you don't make a move until I come out of that fitting room. Wearing a dress. Well, a suit. This is one I have my eye on. You know, it's like, excuse me. Oh, uh, this is sounding risky. You know that Simone you saw in the mall? Well, she wasn't here today because she done split on my ass. Hey, 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 don't start bugging on me. God damn it, I'm telling you, ain't nothing different. Ooh. Everything just like we discussed. Simone got paid. <sighs> All right, this is the real thing. Hi, can I help you? Yeah, um, I think I like that suit. I'd like to try it on. Okay, okay, Jackie. She looks so good. I'll take it. I'm in a hurry. Can you ring it up for me? Cash or charge? Cash. She's got the suit on. Here we go. Melanie? Jackie? Hey, girl, what's up? You got something for me? You betcha. Don't mess this up, Melanie. Come on now. I put a cherry on top. Booyah. What the f did Ordell ever do for us, huh? Thanks. Uh, I don't know, Jackie. I don't know. I'm getting nervous. <laughs> I'm getting nervous because it's the ticking in the music. $267. Stop, Jackie. You're looking nervous. You're making me nervous. Stop it. Stop. Stop. I gotta remember to breathe. I'm sitting over here whew, just waiting for something to happen. <laughs> What's gonna go wrong? Whew. The music, the spinning. Come on now. Ah, she was selling that story. Yeah, I'm in a hurry. Can you ring it up for me? Cash or charge? Cash. I'm gonna go over and look at this machine. Yeah, just stay right, all right? Just stay right here. Are you sweating? Well, I'd be sweating too. Hey, would you let go? Oh. Okay, so where is Max going to come into play? Huh? Okay. Here we are. Have Max, Max and Lewis haven't met, right? Oh no, he did see him. He saw him at the uh, Bell, Bell Bond office. Oh my God, when did he become so... Remember where we came in? No, that's towards Sears. Where the... Which way? Damn, he ramped up quickly. How did you ever rob a bank? Oh. Hey, when you rob banks, did you have to look for your car then, too? No wonder you went to jail. Is it the you it? Is it? Chill. Please don't. Let's not have a repeat of what happened on the TV screen when you were watching it, lady. we we'll get smacked around with money or something. Smacked around with newspaper. You sure? Yeah, I'm sure. You're positive? Don't seem sure to me. Hey, don't say, don't say anything else, okay? Keep your mouth shut. Well, I mean, don't say one fucking word, okay? Okay, Lewis. What is wrong with these movies? Why do they get me out of nowhere like this? I don't deserve this. I just don't see this coming. I don't see them coming. You can't even, I, I can't even expect the unexpected with him. Uh, Jackie didn't count on that part. And how does Lewis think he's going to get away with that? He just murdered someone in the parking lot. Kill a time waiting for my wife. Oh, sure thing. Well, if anything grabs you, don't be shy. I won't. Uh, Thanks. She has a beautiful smile. Oh, oh, I like this. We get it from three different perspectives. I wonder if they had to shoot this three separate times. Uh, 
honestly, with the short amount of time that they saw each other, Louis probably wouldn't recognize him. Probably doesn't even know where he's seen him from. Wait for change. Oh, uh, by the way, someone uh, left a bag of beach towels in the last dressing room. He's going to go get that bag. My wife thinks she left a bag of beach towels in the fitting room. Yeah, I think they're there. Go get them. There's nobody in there. Thanks. Last stop. Yes. <laughs> yeah, still got to deal with Odell. How's that? How's that going to work out? Yes, sir. <laughs> Come on, come on, make it out. Why am I rooting for this? This is all crooked. Everything in this is crooked, but you know what? Go ahead, Jackie. Just go ahead. <laughs> but Quentin likes to throw some twists, so please. God, I did not expect Melanie to just get capped in the parking lot. He's going to know they're plotting something behind his back. Oh my God, please don't get run down. I don't trust it. I don't trust it. Quentin Tarantino is gonna scar me. <laughs> we gonna leave this heap in the parking lot and pick up a car. The cops don't know nothing about. Where's Milton? Well, that's that's what I want to tell you. She she was bugging me the whole time. An you answer the question. Where's Melanie? So what? You left her there? I, I shot her. <laughs> you shot Melanie twice. You know, couldn't just hit her. Maybe, but I, at that at that moment, I don't know. I, I think Melanie would have preferred to just get hit instead of get shot. Pretty much. What do you mean, pretty much, Lewis? I ain't no fucking answer. Yes or no? Is she dead? I, I think so. You think so? Tell me, Lewis. She's is dead. She... She's dead. <laughs> Where's the rest of it? <laughs> How much is that? You like about half a million ten. Look, look, man, that's the bag she came out with. She never put a hand in it, neither did I. She came out with that bag and I took it from her. And then what? And that was it. We went to the parking lot. Well, you shot her. That's right. Pull the car. Mm. All right, so where's the gun you shot her with? It's in there. Don't, t don't do it. Don't do it. I can't. No, what the fuck? I'm not ready. Anything? I could have taken two out already. You're going to shoot him? You guys can't just be killing people like this. He is holding. It's taking every bit of his will not to. He's going to do it. Am I safe? No. It's Jackie Brown. Oh, okay. He figured. Well, you know, if she got it, well, why didn't she take it all? Oh, I'd be sure and ask that before I blow her brains out. Oh. She wants me to know she ripped me off. Where's she going to go afterward? And why am I still worried? What if she gave the money to somebody else first before Melanie even went in the dressing room? Oh, man, you know what? Can we go to another scene now? <laughs> you know who I saw in the dress department? No, tell me. Man, oh, I didn't God. think anything of it. I'm, like, maybe he's with his wife or his girlfriend. It's a big place. Lewis, a lot Lewis, of people Lewis. Know you going to tell me who you saw? Yeah, Max <laughs> Cherry. Max Cherry. Uh, damn, they're piecing it together. Man, look at me when I'm talking to you. You see that mother... In the dress department when we about to get a half million dollars and you don't think nothing about it no, being why? there? Do they know each other? Hell yeah, they know each other. You gonna tell me the reason you lost every goddamn cent I got in the hey, world? Hey, man. Your ass ain't worth the well, shit no you, more. You better fucking back off, man. I just knew it. Your ass used to be beautiful. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. I can't. I can't. I just have to wonder when anyone's going to get shot in these movies from now on. <laughs> there are going to be dead bodies just left around all around the city and no one to account for them. How do, How is he still free? Ray, I swear Melanie burst in. She grabbed the bag. And then somebody f killed her for it. This worked out even more in her favor. <sighs> Melanie was not a part of the plan. Ray, I was frantic. What was I supposed to do? Huh? Huh? Mm. <laughs> oh my God. And Lewis helped her story out even more. They're gonna track that back to Lewis, but Lewis is also dead. I know no nothing, not a clue. Not I don't idea. have an idea not, where the mother is. Not even a little idea, not maybe. Even, not even a little tiny mother and I just... <laughs> just... <laughs> LAPD found her shot in the car at night. And we lost her down. He walked into a strip bar. Sometime around 3.30, he never came out. Less than a mile and a half from where they found Lewis dead. Looks like Lewis's buddy shot him twice, point blank range. We've got three murders we can link him to, and we got you. What about me? What about you? What about me? What? Melanie was found with a packet of Mark Bills stuffed in her shorts. That goes a long way of backing up your story. Okay, okay. If there's anything else, 
you haven't told me about. You know what? That's between you and Ardell. I've got one thing to say. You better hope we find him before he finds you. That's what I'm like, uh... You bleed us in great need. See? Is Sharonda on one? She's on one. Oh my god, get her to a hospital. She does not look well. He ain't here right now, man. Well, where he at? Out of town? He's around, man. Well, give me his home number. No, I give you his beeper number. All right, break off the beeper Ooh. number. <laughs> I'll give you his beeper number. You don't you don't talk to Debo like that. The bond collateral that you put down on Beaumont Livingston and moved over to Miss Brown, remember? Tell me where you are, I'll come give you your money. Don't trust it. Don't trust it. You know. And Jackie can tell me any story comes into her pretty little head as long as at the end of that story she hands me my mother's money. And if she go to the police, you tell her I will name her ass as my accessory. He hasn't learned that he can't mess with Jackie like that. She already caught him once trying to get her. Oh, freeze, mother! What you doing? You want your money? Don't shoot him. Jeez. So she want to give me my money, huh? Yeah. She wants to give it to herself. And she wants to collect the 10%. She also wants to explain why she had to hang on to it. Jackie didn't trust Melanie. She already tried to get Jackie to go in with her, split the half million amongst themselves. And you helped her, didn't you? And the question would be, why? Why did he get involved? But I ain't no dumbass. Go over there and sit on that couch. Next to that corpse. Poor Sharonda. I tell her to bring the money over here. It's in the safe. She can't get at it. Call her and give her the combination. Nope. Look, I'm telling you, you got her spooked. She won't leave there till you get your money and you're gone. Oh, you expect me to just go walking in there? I am so worried right now. Oh. She's ready for that kind of night. <laughs> oh, she is preparing herself. She started giving me some bullshit. But it ain't there, and we gotta go someplace else and get it. I'm gonna shoot you in the head right then and there. Then Winston or anybody else is in there, you the first one to get shot. You understand me? If you walk in there and Winston's in there, I don't think you're walking back out. I swear, since the whole money exchange, my anxiety has not come back down. <laughs> God damn, girl. What you doing sitting up in here in the dark? Bray's got a gun! Dang. What? Like that? 40000 in his pocket there and maybe another 10000 I gave him. Why'd you give him $10,000? Return a bond collateral. I brought it to him so he wouldn't have to come here. Remember when you said you hope you get him before he gets me? Mm-hmm. Well, you did. Dang. <laughs> I swear, you cannot, you can't expect anything. It was fun getting a half million dollars in the mail. Less 10%. Well, I'm leaving now and, you know, I'm all packed up, ready to go. That's our Dells. They confiscated everything else. Do you blame yourself for helping me? No. Oh, look, I'd really feel a whole lot better if you took some more money. You'll get over that. I'd feel better if you guys would, like, get together. Kiss well deserved. I'm not gonna hate on it. Uh, what is it your son's charged with? Go with her. Go with her. Take a vacation. Could I excuse myself? Would you call me back in about half an hour? Come on, come on, go, 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 <laughs> go, 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 go. She's going to drive. Stop her. This man, Quentin Tarantino, scares the crap out of me with some of these scenes. He really does. He really does. And that concludes the reaction video of Jackie Brown. That was Kill Bill was a different type of unexpected. There were things that happened in there that were unexpected, but none of them that made me jump like Pulp Fiction and Jackie Brown. The way that he just jumps from zero to 100, it hits. It hits. And, and, <laughs> and then I knew with Lewis, I was like, oh, let me just get ready. Let me get ready. Even then, it still made me jump. 
and all from her catching the clues of what happened with um with Beaumont and knowing that it linked back to Ordell and she was not going to be the victim. She was not going to be the next one to go down. She caught him and turned it all around. I'm here for this. I'm here for this story. I didn't place myself in it morally. I'm not going to. I just enjoyed this for what it was. I, I look forward to the next Quentin Tarantino movie. Of course, we have other things in between here and there, but this is going to be something else. Let me know which one comes, what comes next, and I will be sure to, that that is the next Quentin Tarantino movie that we do. I hope you guys enjoyed the rest of your weekend. Uh, if this is posted on the weekend, if not, then week, please do subscribe if you like the video. There will be more. And uh, please feel free to leave a rating. Stay safe. Be bright. Give someone a reason to smile today. And I'll see you next time. Bye for now.